I am getting by. And I'm grateful for that. So many people aren't. But getting by won't buy a new washing machine. Which is why I was at the laundromat the day that Ray Thornton came in and posted something to the cork board near the front. Oh, Ray didn't see me. Which is fine. See, we don't get along. See, Ray has a... He has a horse that he's not taking care of. I mean, he complains about the cost of hay and says he can't afford a vet or a farrier, but every time I've tried to buy the horse, he says he'd rather let it loose on Forest Service land than let me have it. That's Ray Thornton. Yeah, so as I'm leaving the laundromat with my clothes in a plastic hamper, I, I just glance over to see what Ray had posted. And all it says is kittens wanted with his phone number. Now, if you're not familiar with the rougher parts of living in the rural West, then you probably don't know what kittens wanted means. And when you find out, you'll probably be as angry as I was when I tore Ray's notice off the laundromat cork board. Dogs are like people. You have to put meanness in them. You know, the way someone put meanness in Ray. You know, how you train a fighting dog is you, uh, you put a puppy in a cage with a kitten and then you torture the puppy until in its rage it kills the kitten. And then you do it again and again and again until eventually the puppy learns to kill the kitten before the torture begins. And then it's cats and then other dogs until what you're left with is an animal that knows nothing but killing. So what kind of a person does that to a puppy? Ray Thornton. So a couple days later, I, I drove by the gas station to make sure Ray was at work and then I went on over to his house. Now I do this about once a week to feed the horse, but this time I went around behind the corral to the shed in the back and broke the lock. And inside there were two pit bull puppies in cages. Now as soon as they saw that I wasn't Ray, they started whining to get out, but I didn't let them out. Instead, I loaded the cages into the back of my truck and I drove them over to Monica's. See, Monica's our vet. And she examined them, gave them their shots, wormed them. And then I took them home for the night while Monica worked on getting them adopted. Well, we've done this before. You know, I'll still steal the dogs and then Monica will patch them up. And then we'll get them as far away as we can. So a few days later, Monica called and said that she had uh, found a home for one of the pups. So I drove the little brindle puppy over to her house and we sat on her porch for about an hour while the puppy played with her dogs. And then an old station wagon pulled up with Colorado plates and Monica's contact got out. A woman with a long braid. And she hugged Monica and nodded to me. Then we loaded up the pup and they were gone. I mean, couldn't have taken more than three minutes. When I got home, My front door was kicked in and the other puppy was gone. Now, I don't know how Ray knew that it was me who stole his dogs. I mean, maybe he did see me at the laundromat or maybe because of the horse, he just figured it out. But there wasn't no way he was gonna take the dog back to his house, so who knows where they ended up. God, my heart breaks for the kind of life that dog's gonna have. 
but at least we saved one. I don't know if Ray thinks that this is over, but I sure don't.